hey, so I'd like to introduce to you how the final uh, Bible imported into Rome looks like. Um, what you still see here is, of course, the table of contents I had before. And here you can navigate down to uh, the various books and chapters, uh, as well as I included now a uh, table of abbreviations, uh, because now you can search the Bible using this uh, abbreviated form. So searching for Matthews 1.1, I type Matt 1.1. And uh, I can simply open up the verse and I can, of course, uh, navigate uh, a level up to uh, Matthew's chapter one. I think the biggest change you will notice are these buttons. And if I click here, you can see these are uh, Rome buttons that include the verse reference. And so the benefit of having these buttons is I don't have individual pages for each of the verses and that saves um, 30 plus thousand uh, pages in Rome. That's a huge saving in terms of performance and size. Uh, as well as what I did is I created a small Rome JS script and uh, you can really put whatever you want into that script. Right now, what the, the script does is it opens up uh, Bible.com uh, and brings up the verse uh, in the King James uh, translation. But of course, you can choose whichever other translation you prefer. And uh, if I open up the Rome.js script, then yeah, so you can see uh, this is uh, what the script does. And here uh, you can actually configure whatever service uh, you want. Instead of uh, Bible.com, you can put together your own um, uh, event handler. And uh, it's very easy to modify the actual Bible service that comes up here, as well as if you're more adventurous, uh, you can um, go ahead and uh, um, build uh, functionality to bring up uh, cross-references or what have you. So uh, going back to uh, maybe let's now bring up uh, Genesis 1.1. Uh, and so the, the process uh, remains the same as in the earlier uh, version that you can simply um, uh, drag and drop or copy uh, block references into your uh, daily notes or wherever you want to reference uh, these verses and uh, you can use the Bible uh, this way to record your own uh, thoughts and notes uh, next to the scripture. So thank you for listening and I hope you'll find uh, this Bible in Rome helpful.